Tony Martin defeats Ryan LaFleur via third round TKL due to a head kick. So how this fight played out was basically Tony Martin was on and Ryan LaFleur was not. Ryan LaFleur had a very stupid game plan. He was just firing Superman punches and leg kicks and body kicks, all which could be countered by the straight. And it all makes the straight even more effective. And Tony Martin, I mean, yeah, Ryan LaFleur didn't have like a jab, didn't mix it up to the body, didn't really mix up his attacks, no uppercut. It's really a super, Superman punch and leg kicks and body kicks. So, like I said, all those could be countered by the straight. And that's exactly what Tony Martin did. He made Tony Martin look better than he should have made Tony Martin look. And Tony Martin fully capitalized on him having a very dumb game plan and approaching the fight in a very dumb way. So in the end, pretty much in the first round, I think um, Lorraine LaFleur looked okay with the kicks. He was landing the kicks, but every time, every now and then, Martin would land that straight. And every time, it would land effectively. And he kind of clipped him a couple times in the first round. But maybe that first round was kind of even a little bit. But I would say... Tony Martin was visibly landing the more damage. Like, you would see how Ryan Flair would react to every single punch. Those straight would land. He would have to get, kind of fall off his loose balance a little bit, kind of get moved around a bit by that straight. So, you know it was affecting him. Then the second round, it came to fruition, like fruition and stuff. He got dropped by it. It was dominated most of that round. And, probably, like, by the end of that round, he was caught in a dart choke, but he managed to survive and, met, like, get back to guard. Then, he, the start of the third round, he... Um, Okay start, but again, Tony Martin continued doing what he was doing. Keep landing that straight because Ryan LaFleur is going to keep doing that Superman punch, keep doing those kicks. And again, you could counter that with the uh, straight all day. I think he um, pretty much towards the mid part of that round, he do a straight, like fainted with the straight. Like he threw it, pulled it, then do a head kick. To, to, um, so that the, he do the straight, got um, LaFleur to react to it. They came over the top with the head kick, dropped LaFleur, knocked him out cold, and he got the victory. So a good win, impressive win. He called out the top 20 in the division like he wants to go up or the top 15 or whatever he called out. He called out the division basically saying, basically trying to put the division on notice. I think it's a good win. Certainly not a win that's going to say, oh, I'm about to take over the division on nothing, but a very good win of a respectable opponent who has had some good wins in the, in the division. So I think it's a good enough win for him to go. But based on that performance, I only say he could what he could do in the division. But as far as this fight, he got a win, got it done, and a win's a win. Especially a win by a finish and a highlight reel. He might even get a bonus for the night if no other sighted knockouts happen on this card. But um, a good win. So that's about all I got to say for this video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And come back for more videos. Peace.